Why are coral reefs important? Coral reefs are some of the most diverse marine ecosystems on the planet, and they provide a number of services, both for the marine environment and for people. So corals and coral reefs are high-value natural assets. They serve as nursery grounds for juvenile fishes. They provide income, food, and protection for more than half a billion people around the world. They sequester carbon for mitigating climate change. And these reef systems protect coastlines from storms, and from erosion. The coral reefs are threatened by a myriad of uh, stressors. And it is also experiencing um, extreme anthropogenic pressures. We have local threats such as garbage. We also have destructive fishing. Pollution from human settlements around coral reefs are impacting reefs on a daily basis. So one of the biggest threats to corals is climate change in the form of global warming and we do not understand the adaptive capacity of each individual species. And so we need to know what the status of individual species are and determine what are the impacts of threats to coral reef fishes and invertebrates so that we can better understand if the reef ecosystems of the world are at risk of collapse. So we started to assess the corals of the world in 2008, and this will be the second time this reassessment is meant to provide an update on their status to see if any of our conservation actions have improved the status of corals globally or if things are getting worse. From the Atlantic results, we know that the risk of extinction for Atlantic corals has doubled since the last time we have done this assessment back in 2008. So the Lee Kong Chen Natural History Museum is the host for this red list of uh, coral workshop. This workshop is the last step in this reassessment of the world's corals. Singapore is also in the southwestern corner of the Coral Triangle, and this is the world's hotspot for coral reef biodiversity. We do know that there are about 850 species of reef building corals around the globe, and the vast majority of them are here in the Indo Pacific. So you can imagine it's quite a challenge to get data on at least 800 different species of corals. Over the past three years, we've been working with more than 100 experts from more than 30 countries. And they represent academia, government agencies, and nonprofit organizations. We are using the methodology of the IUCN Red List, which is the world's gold standard for assessing species extinction risk. We try to assess the extinction risk of individual species by assessing the population level decline of each individual species. We also look at the distribution and range size of each species. Gathering uh, all of the world's coral experts in Singapore gives us this sense of mission that we need to assess corals' conservation status um, accurately and urgently. If we lose coral reefs, it will create a cascading effect, impacting global ocean health. And not only will marine species be impacted, but coastal livelihoods and humans too that depend on oceans.